Hello, everybody. Welcome to the anniversary service at St. Andrew's Church on Sunday, August 23rd, 2020. It was, in fact, 118 years ago, tomorrow, that the first service ever was held in our church building with a membership of 140 faithful Presbyterians. Many improvements were done over the first 25 years, including the addition of many pieces of furniture, lighting, washrooms, a kitchen, and some storage. In 1925, after the Presbyterians voted to enter the Union, our local church, by a small majority, sound familiar, voted to enter the Union as well. And in July 1925, Bayfield Methodist Church was closed and their members united with the Presbyterian majority to form St. Andrew's United Church, which is what, where we worship today. Of course, that's when there is no pandemic. The Methodists continued, uh, contributed the parsonage and over the years, many other improvements were made. Electricity in 1928. A shed for horses and cutters was added in 1930. Redecoration of the interior in 1952 and a large renovation and addition in 2002. Those were very different times. Attending church services were essentially expected of everyone. And the union of three different denominations was a significant milestone in Protestant Christianity in, uh, in Canada. Many issues had to be organized and compromised on and concessions had to be made However, one thing that everyone agreed upon was that music needed to be an important part of the services at St. Andrew's United. And that tradition has continued to this day. St. Augustine famously said, he or she who sings prays twice. St. Andrew's has always been blessed with wonderful choirs and below is a short slideshow with images of some of the choirs and music from over the years. Today's hymns have been chosen based purely on history. The United Church of Canada was inaugurated at a large worship service at Toronto's Mutual Street Arena on June the 10th, 1925. Hymns from all three churches the Methodist Church, the Presbyterian Church, and the Congregational Church were sung. All people on earth do dwell, from the Scottish Presbyterian psalm tradition. The Methodist favourite, Oh for a Thousand Tongues to Sing, by Charles Wesley. The Congregationalists, O oh God of Bethel, and When I Survey the Runders' Cross, by the British nonconformist, Isaac Watts. Let us start our service today with a prayer for past, present and future choirs and for all those, including the congregation, who pray twice. The author of this prayer is unknown, but it speaks to our ongoing desire to make music an integral part of our service. O oh Lord, please bless and continue to bless the music at St. Andrew's, that it might glorify your name. May the talent that you have bestowed upon us be used only to serve you. Let our music continue to be a witness to your majesty and love and remind us that you are always with us, always all around us, 
and always within us. May your presence and beauty be found in every note. And may the words that we that are sung reach the hearts of your people so that they will draw closer to you. May your spirit guide us through every measure so that we might be the instruments of your peace and proclaim your glory with glad voices. Amen. If you have Voices United with you, please turn to page 822 and join in the singing of all people that on earth do dwell.